If you're interested in animation, the most important thing is passion. People do this because they love it and they want to tell their stories. Don't be intimidated by technology. Those things can be learned. Focus on the fundamentals of animation, lighting, photography, camera. So if you have that passion, then go and download Unreal Engine and get started. Getting into animation can seem like a really intimidating process. You see the end goal, you see the movies, and you just don't know how you could ever get into that. But it's a lot more simple than you would think. Getting into animation really just involves being an artist, learning the key principles of color theory, understanding shape and form. So I would recommend that if you're interested in animation, just go out and draw. To get into the animation industry, you're gonna need a portfolio. So start assembling a bunch of examples of what you do. So if you want to be an animator, for example, you probably wanna have a couple different motion tests. So you could do like a walk or an acting piece or have a character do a, a musical number. Whatever you're trying to get towards, just try to replicate it. If you want to work at a company, look at what that company does and try to recreate it in a small sense. So if working at Disney is your end goal, it would be really great to design your own character, give that character a backstory, make your own animation. Really nurture that place inside you that's going to help you have a voice. And you want to arm your voice with power. You want to arm your voice with tools, and that's going to be how strong are you going to get at the different technology, the different software programs. To work in animation, you do not need a strong background in computers. I do not have a computer science degree. I did not go to school for computer science. I learned everything that I know on YouTube. There's great videos about absolutely everything from what is twos, what is a frame, how does it work? There's a lot of resources out there on YouTube, on ArtStation, on Twitter, on Instagram. Just type in animation, 3D animation, real time. See what people are doing, see what's interesting, see what you kind of gravitate towards. When I was first interested in animation, I got really down on myself that I wasn't the best in my class. I think what's really important to remember is not being the best in your class is actually a great opportunity. So if I could go back and just talk to myself, it would be don't be so hard on yourself. Give yourself room to make mistakes. Give yourself room to continue to grow. If I could give myself one piece of advice, it would be to put myself out there and be more outgoing from the very beginning. That is really key to becoming a better creative, is putting yourself out there, putting your work in front of other people. I've seen so many people who get interest by creating things and sharing them with people. Even if you don't get interest from big studios, you still get feedback, so either way you win. The advantage of this day and age in animation for somebody that is starting is that you can start in your bedroom. Nothing is stopping you from playing around with the software. Download them, play with them. Not only the software is available, but the content is readily available. Even just with what Epic provides, you can download this very detailed and professionally made environment and you can start doing things to it. If they're already animated, you can light them. If they're already lit, you can animate them. The fantastic thing about these softwares is that you can make an entire animated movie by yourself. Like you don't actually need anybody else at this point. The technology is there. The only thing stopping you is your belief that you can.